It's Susan here at Susan's Cozy Condo Life. Thank you for stopping by. We're kicking off the Christmas season by having challenges that are being hosted by Arlen at Arlen's Country Craft Corner and Kim at Sweet Daisy Creations. It's gonna be four exciting weeks of challenges. And this is the first year that I participated in a Christmas challenge. I'm fairly new to YouTube. So I'm so glad you stopped by. This first week's challenge is the mantle challenge, and I hope you enjoy what I've done to my mantle. So sit down and get comfortable. It'll only take a few minutes, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you for stopping by. Here's a view of my mantle from across the room. Let's walk up and take a closer look. My mantle tells a story about Scott's Christmas tree lot. So let me step back again. I was not able to use the garland that I purchased from QVC because my mantle is very narrow and that garland was just so thick and lush, it just wouldn't work. So I had to get a garland from um, Walmart. In the front of my mantle, I have two um, string garlands. The Believe one came from Target a few years ago and the Pom Pom one. I got at TJ Maxx last year. So let's walk up closer to the top of the mantle and we'll go across from left to right. Here's the little village near the tree lot and I have this little metal trees that I purchased from Walmart. And there's some bottle brush trees with Santa looking out to see if the children are being naughty or nice. And going down the side of the garland, I wrapped some buffalo check ribbon. Now we're going to move over. And on our tree lot, we have a trailer. Because when I was a child, we went to um, a Catholic school right up the street and bought our trees. And we paid for it at the trailer on the little tree lot. So I incorporated this trailer that I got from Michael's. And moving over again, there's my sign. I had that... I ordered that several years ago, I think from Amazon. I can't even remember, it's been a while. And there are some more trees. And here is the little boy that helps out at the tree lot that you give the little tips to and helps you load your tree. And the red truck is bringing the family to the tree lot to find a tree. And this is the truck that I got from Cracker Barrel. And it looks like they found a tree in the back of the truck and the family dog helped them pick out a tree. And this little dog is a golden and his name is Bentley. I wonder why his name's Bentley. Hmm, I have to think about that. And there's a big tree and a few other bottle brush trees stuck in there. And then Santa, and then the buffalo check and the garland as you go down. And I wound fairy lights on all these bottle brush trees and they were a really bright white. I wish they were, had been the white that came with the lights in the uh, garland, but I couldn't do anything about that. On either um, side of the mantle, I have, on this side, I have a Christmas tree that's in a olive bucket with a sign up front that says, trees for sale, you cut $5. Wouldn't it be nice if you could find a tree for $5? We went to an artificial tree last year because the prices just got so high. Now, I did forget to tell you about my candle because one of the requirements was to have a candle and a candle holder. Well, that didn't really work too well with my scene, so I put a candle in there and we're gonna pretend that it's a street light. So let's go down to this side and I have my grandfather's old toolbox. I really can't see it very well. And inside the toolbox, I have some of my favorite Christmas, children's Christmas books that I've kept through the years. And I have two Raggedy Andys. One Andy, this one belonged to Ben, and this one belonged to my son, Matt. So they're getting up in age. And the little mittens, that I have here, I purchased at an estate sale many years ago. And I have that old Night Before Christmas Santa book 
right there and with all the other books. So that's kind of what I've got going on around my meow. And I certainly hope you enjoyed seeing everything I have. I hope it in some way inspires you because I did put a lot there on a little mantle, narrow mantle. It's not so, it's long, but it's narrow. But I hope you can pick out some items and, and inspire you. And I also hope that you will check all the other mantle videos that are in this challenge that our Lynn has on the playlist. And please come back next week for the challenge of the Cozy Corner. And we'll see you then. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, sweet friends. Bye.